Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy is currently operating 17 submarines which includes one Arihant class SSBN, four Type 209 class, eight Kilo class and four Scorpion class diesel attack submarines. The submarine which we are going to discuss today is the Kilo class submarine which is also known as Sindhu Ghost class submarine. These submarines are designed in Soviet era and first entered into service with Russian Navy in 1980. Indian Navy commissioned the first vessel of this class in 1986 which is almost 35 years ago. The latest submarine of this class was commissioned by Indian Navy in the year 2000, 22 years ago. These submarines are quite old. However, all of them have undergone mid-life refitment and one was decommissioned, another one was given to Myanmar Navy in March 2020. While the construction of latest conventional diesel attack submarines under Project 75I is yet to kick off, Indian Navy is looking to further upgrade the Kilo class submarines. The first upgrade is related to lithium ion battery. This upgrade is going to be the game changer for a submarine and Navy won't even need AIP if it has lithium ion battery. At present, Japan is the only country to have an operational submarine powered by lithium ion and South Korea has also developed this technology and working on operationalizing them. Back in 2020, Navy has released an RFI for indigenous development of 500 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery for submarines which can also be scaled up to 5 megawatt hour. Navy is planning to replace the traditional lead acid batteries with this lithium ion battery. As per the latest update, Navy has selected the vendor for the development of the lithium ion battery. It might take 20 more months as per RFI to get the working lithium ion in place. This is definitely good news as this will be the first to be fitted in a Kilo class submarine and later can be retrofitted with Calvary class submarine. The use of lithium ion battery will negate the need of AIP system. If you are thinking how, let me explain you. Let's consider a situation where submarine's battery is fully charged and is moving quietly at a speed of 3 to 5 knots. The submarine will take approximately 24 hours to completely discharge. In this scenario, the discharge rate of battery would be 100% divided by 24 which is 4.2% discharge per hour. If the submarine were to go to maximum speed, the discharge rate would jump from 4.2% to 200% and fully charged battery would be dead within 30 minutes. Now let's add AIP system to the submarines. AIP will top up a small tickle charge constantly to the battery but not enough to fully charge it up like the diesel engines. However, it's enough to slow down the battery drain. AIP is capable of charging batteries at rate of 3% per hour. If submarine is patrolling at 3 to 5 knots, the discharge rate would be 4.2% minus 3% that is 1.2% per hour. With this rate, submarine do not need to come to surface for at least 3 days. But again, if submarine were to cruise at maximum speed, the battery drain would jump to 200% minus 3% that is 197% and still will be drained flat in about 30 minutes. Therefore, AIP system is of little or no use while running at maximum speed. Now talking about lithium ion batteries, it has inherent advantages over lead acid batteries such as high power density, lighter weight and lower maintenance cost because you don't need gas charging or water filling. The lithium ion battery's output remains constant even when their charge run low. They are much lighter than lead acid battery and can be charged exceptionally faster. They can store much more energy compared to the AIP system. It is also simplifies the overall submarine's propulsion system design which will be less complex and bulky. 
The second upgrade is related to fire warning system. The project is for installation, commissioning, trials and maintenance of fire warning system on board 7 Sindhu Ghosh class submarines. The submarine consists of 6 water tight compartments and 2 battery pits. The compartment composition consists of living spaces, gallery, machinery specs, engine room, motor room, ammunition deck, shafting space. The fire warning will provide different sensors, for example, smoke sensor, temperature sensor, hot spot detection sensor, flash detector, etc. The system's cabling will require to pass through each of these compartments that are watertight and bifurcated using bulkheads. The compartments are air pressure tested to 10 kg per centimeter square. The FWS will function under marine environment and high atmospheric pressures. Overall, these two upgrades are aimed to improve the safety standards and endurance of the Kilo class submarines drastically. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.